Hi everyone, welcome back to Nude Wellness. I'm Selena. If you're new here, I promise I have clothes on. This is not why it's called Nude Wellness. Um, as always, I like to talk about manifesting and the law of assumption. This is the place where we strip away your limiting beliefs. And before I dive into today's video, my disclaimer, as always, your reality, your rules. So anything I say in these videos, they're just my assumptions of how the law of assumption functions in my reality. Take what resonates, discard what doesn't, you're in charge. Today, I want to talk about why sometimes um, working on your self-concept can make you feel that you don't want your specific person anymore or you don't want a relationship with them. I don't want you freaking out and avoiding self-concept work and changing how you see yourself because you think that's going to make you not want that person. That is not what I want this video to be at all. Self-concept is really important. How you see yourself being the god of your reality should be like mwah. You should be feeling so good about yourself. You should be feeling like that bitch, that guy. You should be feeling like you have so many options. This person is so lucky to even be with you. This person should be should be like so lucky that you're even thinking about them, let alone manifesting a relationship with them. Like that's the place you want to get to. So the reason why I want to talk about this concept today, well, kind of this feeling, this, this thinking is because I had a conversation with a client today and I was like, oh my goodness, I've worked, I've like dealt with this with clients in the past and I just haven't shared this on video. So I thought it was like, okay, I need to make a video. Okay. So the first thing is you are God, you get to decide if you're feeling this way and you're like, you know what? I don't really want to manifest this person anymore for whatever reason you feel like you just aren't a vibe anymore. You feel you can do better. You feel um, you shouldn't be accepting this kind of middle behavior, which I want to touch on in a sec. Um, and you're just like, yeah, that's not my desire anymore. I want to manifest someone else. Do you, boo? Awesome. If you're feeling that good and you just don't want to do that anymore, amazing. The only thing is, the caveat to this is, if you decide to manifest someone else and you're like, yeah, I pick you. That's who I want to be with now. You need to make sure that you've cleaned up your thinking about relationships. You've cleaned up your thinking about yourself and yourself in relationships and your perceptions and assumptions about this new person are tight, like they're good. Because this whole situation over here, this new thing is going to quickly turn into what you had previously if you don't deal with what needs to be dealt with. That's my caveat here. You, you can by all means decide, no, I don't want to do this, but you still need to make sure that when this next person comes in and they may trigger you or they may whatever, um, you're not thinking worst case scenario or you're not bracing for impact and you're not going, oh my God, he's going to be, he or she is going to be like all the other people I've dated in the past. Like that's not what you want to be doing. That's the first thing. The second thing is if you decide that you don't want to manifest this relationship anymore or this person, maybe you even decide, you know what? I just want to be single for a bit because I'm feeling really good about myself. I'm really enjoying life. I want my focus to be just on me. Again, you're God. You get to decide whatever happens in your reality. Um, I don't want you deciding not to manifest this person because you don't think you can or you don't think you can recreate this situation. You can. You just get to decide whether you don't want to put the energy, effort, whatever it is, like thinking into recreating this person and this version if you don't want to. Does it have to be hard and a lengthy process? No. You are going to make it harder than it needs to be if you have that split vision of, I really want this, and here's this amazing version of them, but you're still looking at the 3D and then you're getting upset and you're like double minded and doubting. That's going to make the journey longer and harder than it needs to be. So by all means, if you don't want to be with them anymore or you don't want to manifest anymore, great. But only be doing that if that's just not your desire anymore, not because you're giving up. And you know, it's so funny with all of this, what ends up happening, and this may be just my assumption, because um, I think generally people have the assumption, especially women, are like, yeah, guys always come back, exes always come back. That may just be the reason. But even if you decide, you know what, I'm not going to consciously manifest this person anymore. I'm going to work on me. Maybe I'm going to like see other people. I find that this person still comes back at some point. Is it as quick as um, when you're focused? Probably not. Again, I don't want to say there's a limiting belief, um, but 
the reason why they do come back may be because I just have the opinion that they always come back. And two, the uh, potential reason might just be because you've dropped the old story. You've dropped thinking about the old story of them. Maybe you've forgotten the old story and like have forgotten all the details. So you're not ruminating on all the details anymore. It's kind of a bit foggy and hazy. You know, you guys like weren't amazing together, but you can't really remember the details anymore. Um, or maybe you've completely forgotten. Like I'm, I have a skill at, if I don't want to remember something, I just won't. Like it's literally blurry it's black like i just won't remember it and i find that is such a skill for me when i'm manifesting and if i want to recreate a situation if i don't think about something that i don't like i'm going to forget it and i am going to have to really really think and try and recall the memories if i want to ruminate on the bad stuff so i'm very happy that i can easily forget so that may just be a potential reason why this person comes back if you don't consciously manifest them because you finally dropped the old story because um, every single day when you were manifesting them, you still had that double mindedness of going back to what they did or what you guys were in the past. And how come it's not like this now? And because you're just focused on yourself and you're focused on your self concept, this person still comes in. So I intend that you found this really helpful and it wasn't rambly. As always, if you want more help, I have my links and details in the description below. Um, I'm super excited for I think it's two more videos this week. I believe. I think this is the first video for this week. Anyway, I'll speak to you then. Have a beautiful day. Toodles. Bye.